Hey guys, Cool190 here, and today I have a Cinema 4D rig showcase. Um, I forget whose rig it is. If I remember, I'll put it in the description. I probably won't, though. Um, so, this is one of my favorite rigs. Um, I'll just show you how to use it. Now, so the mouth, um, there. Um, hold on. Uh, those weird things. I'm not sure if they come up in picture viewer. Um, my computer is not fast at all. Yeah, you know, can't really handle these things. Um, Alright, so, not as bad in picture viewer, um, so you can change the expression of the mouse, um, I always, like, um, getting the teeth and moving them up, because the teeth don't really show up if you, when you don't do that, so, um, that's what I always do. Um, hold on, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Um, so, I hope that that looks good. Good enough. Um, next, the eyes. Um, you can just move them around. You know what, I'm just gonna make them really derpy. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just working on this. Uh, this, I, I will tell you the good brand of things. Like, if you're not doing an advanced animation, next is, uh, now I'm trying eyebrows, um, Alright, that's good. Alright, so now fingers. Um, they're pretty easy to use. If you just have a lot of fingers, you just control them like, uh, like, uh, hold on. Yeah, you just control them like this. That's all I'm going to be doing because my video will end soon. And we go into render settings. Um, you don't have to do any of this. Um, oh, and you set this to best. I'm trying to do this really fast. Ambient occlusion. You don't have to do anything with that. Uh, global illumination. Um, this is good if you're not doing any animation. And then do low. Low. And yeah, that's pretty good. So, now your picture will turn out pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to pause it until I, until the render is done. Uh, so now the render is done. So, so you actually need a light for global illumination. And that's about it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And bye!